Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, a place where purpose are discovered and values are given. You know you can make over 300,000 naira monthly in laundry and dry cleaning business. How? If you have been dreaming about this business for a while and you don't really know how to start up, I think now is for you to make this a reality. All you need is just to keep watching this video. Welcome back. Do you know laundry business is the essential part of life to most people, especially in Africa, as long as clean clothes are demanded for. So therefore, laundry business will be run effectively. All you need is thus your mindset, the capital to start up, how to run it and how to make money in it. So very quickly, I'm going to share with us seven steps on how to start a successful dry cleaning business service. Step one. Plan your laundry business. A clear plan is essential for success as an entrepreneur because it helps you to map out the specific in any business and to discover the unknown. You see, for you to carry out a good plan, you need to ask yourself some questions. And the first question you need to ask yourself is, what are the costs involved to start up this business? The second question is, who are your target market? The, que the third question is, how much can you charge your customers? And the last question is, what name do you give your business these four questions are very important before you key into other important steps for you to start up a successful dry cleaning business service let me start from the first question which is cost involved there are some important dry cleaning equipment you need to purchase if you want to render good services to your customer the first one washing machine dryer generator iron iron board stash cloth drying racks waste bin table clothes and parking nylon all these must be purchased before you start up but when purchasing them try to minimize cost now let me give you an idea of the range for the washing machine and the dryer you can get it at the range of 190,000 naira up to 250,000 they are more expensive one but make sure you go for the one that can serve you for a long period of time without developing any faults now the same thing applies to the generator make sure you are getting a generator that can power haul your machine and generator cost is around 100,000 above so get those ones that are more that has more power that can power haul your machines now the same thing as applies to your iron a steam iron is more advisable so you can get about two or one for start and if you don't have more money for the machine for now you can also use your hand wash you can use hand wash you are very good in hand washing so for start so now with time then you save to buy this machine now i've done all my research i noticed that for you to start up this business you need nothing less than 500,000 euros some people started up with 300,000 euros because mm -hmm. they left some machine out of it then later on they later purchased but with this 500,000 i can promise you that you can never regret starting this business who is your target market i want you to see everyone around you as a prospect who will need your services in one way or the other now the question i want us to ask ourselves is that what kind of environment am i living in right now is it a local environment or well civilized environment now when you are rendering service to a local environment render a good service to them irrespective of whatever amount they are paying you the same thing applies to well civilized make sure you are rendering a very quality service to them your own target or your own goal should be a regular customer base because a regular customer helps to create a liable customer base that is your goal so see everyone as your prospect the next question you need to ask yourself how does laundry and dry cleaning business make their money a lot of ways once you are not lazy you see items for dry cleaning are charged per piece so you need to be consistent when you are rendering service especially when you are in a metropolitan area the competition in metropolitan area is very intense. So, I always advise people who are starting up to use what they call promotion strategies. Now, when you are starting, first reduce your price to attract more customers. Like, for example, you can be charging a shirt and a blouse for just 200 naira just to attract them then with time once you have gained your customer base very well consistency and they are coming then you can now gradually increase the price now to the normal price now look at it you must learn to render good services no matter what if you want to make money in this business learn to render good service once they enjoy your washing and you are giving a quality service i can bet you that they will always come back 
Next question is, how can you charge your customer? There are many ways you can charge your customer, but you must first discover the kind of environment you find yourself and the type of customer coming towards you. Now, understand your customers very well. Know what they need and know their capabilities. This will give you ideas of how you can charge them. Don't charge them more than what they can afford. You understand? Charge them on what you can afford and provide. The key thing is give them a quality service. I can categorically tell you that once you give and satisfy your customer, they will definitely be part of your customer base. That means they will keep coming and referring people to you and that is your target that should be your first objective or goals if you want to be successful in this business the next one is how can you make money in this business i have a student in ogun state she only cover ogun ogun her own um how i said her own local government only that was what she based on and this is the business she was doing so and she's making up to i think she's making twelve thousand five daily and she's making up to three hundred thousand era less than less than 300,000 naira every month so this shows that this business is very profitable especially when you are not starting in lagos lagos state or any state that you know there are a lot of crowd a lot of people a lot of customer base you have a very large customer base i can categorically categorically tell you you can make over that you can make 15,000 you can make 450,000 monthly and you can make up to 3.5 million naira in a year when after removing all other expenses so this business is a business you can key into once you understand it very well last question you need to ask yourself if you want to have a good planning process is what name should i give my business my laundry business now giving your laundry business a unique name is very important and sometimes it can be so challenging so if you have been finding it so difficult to give your business a name you can comment below under this video i'll help you or give you some tips on how you can bring some a unique name for your business now if you want to start as a sole proprietorship like a one-man business a one-man mopo i suggest you give it your own name added to the service you are rendering like for example david laundering service as simple as that but don't forget to do what they call domain availability to check if that name has not been used you know you are not the only one behind david so you can just acronyme your name give it an acronym like shorten it or give it a nickname you understand that people normally call you so i think that will good that would be good for a one-man business step two form a legal entity most common business structures are always sole proprietorship or partnership so um if you don't really have enough capital to start up this business you can always partner with your friend or family so who can support you financially to start up this business so all you need is for example you have just three hundred thousand naira. you can just ask for help who can assist you with two hundred thousand naira for you to start up and you can also start up with that same three hundred thousand all you need is just how to minimize cost of equipment you need to purchase first now if you want me to support you or give you idea of how you can get a very cheap items also comment on this video i'm going to share with you how you can get those items now the most thing is form a legal entity step three register your business it's very important to register your business after getting a unique name that suits that business that laundry business you are about to start before it is being publicized now once you have done that under corporate affairs commission and you have gotten your employer's identification number this is totally free of charge and the registration can be done in less than two weeks after this has have been achieved the next thing if you have money is to trademark that name trademark that name is very very important once you are starting a laundry business step four open a bank account or credit card it is very important you open an account separate from your own private account i always tell people who want to start this laundry business to separate their private account from their business account because if you join it together if you mix it together you are putting your personal asset at tricks asset like your cars your homes or other valuable things you are putting them at tricks when your business are being sued for financial loss or any other financial um, crimes so always avoid all of this embarrassment or all of these issues to occur so it's always advisable to open a private account different from your own personal account for your business step five obtain necessary permits and license failure to obtain necessary permits can put your laundry business at risk 
risk of FT fines or being shut down completely. Now to avoid all of this embarrassment, ensure you get all necessary permits from either from your local government or from the state government. Make sure everything or documentation are set before you open on fully so that they will not obstruct or hinder you from operation. Step 6. Get a business insurance. Just like a license and permit, your business needs an insurance for them to operate lawfully and safely. Now, business insurance help to protect your company from any loss. Now, the, the type of business insurance you can get for your business, your laundry business is general liability insurance. This is very common. So, because it protects and covers small, small business needs in case of any unforeseen risks. So, it is very important you ensure your business. Step 7. Define your brand. Your brand is what your company stands for and how it is being perceived by the public. You see, a very strong brand will help your business to stand from competitors. So, if you aren't feeling too confident about designing a very small business logo, business card or flyers that will help to promote your business very well then you need my guidance all you need is just to comment below this video so i can teach you on how to get all of this done yourself to round all of this up if you need more business advice consultantship mentorship i don't know where you are watching me from whether you have started the business already or you're about to start i want to increase your customer base you want to have more customers or probably you want to increase your income in less than six months to be earning nothing less than 500,000 naira monthly then kindly subscribe to my youtube channels put your notification button on cash you later thanks